Welcome back people, we've got some more Bassmaster fishing 2022 for you guys here again today. So I've been putting out quite a few videos on this, showing different hot spots in different lakes and um, leveling up, buying rods and different stuff. Today though, today could be the day where I catch my biggest fish. So my biggest fish was 40 pound, 15 ounces, freshwater drum. But I'm here in a different lake today trying to go for a very big catfish now the catfish in here go up to um, they got up to a hundred pounds I think or 99 pounds so yeah there's a chance that I can get a seriously big fish if you're interested in Bassmaster fishing don't forget to hit that subscribe button we show lots of new games old games pre-ordered games I couldn't give you a better reason to subscribe other than that don't forget to drop a like as well if you are enjoying it and also, if you want to support the channel a little bit more, we now have memberships. The link for that will be in the description below. So I've had this on for a little bit. Let me know in the comments section below what you think of the game and what is your biggest fish. I'm interested to, I'm interested to find out what people are catching. Let me know what your biggest fish size is and what type of fish it was. Let me know. So, of course, I will show you my rod set up. And I will show you whereabouts I am fishing as well. So I've been trying the booty shaker. Now it says that the booty shaker, the catfish really like it. I've used it so many times. I do catch catfish with it, but it's not very often. And that's the honest truth. Let's see if it's my new biggest fish. Oh wow, it's looking promising. It's looking promising. Oh my gosh, wow, yeah, there we go. My new biggest catfish. Flathead catfish, 50 pound, 15 ounces. Wow, that's um, <laughs> that's my new biggest fish. That's awesome. All right, so oh yeah, I forgot to show you the setup. All right, well we're gonna have another cast here quick because um, it seems like they're interested in this worm that I put on. As I said, it does say that it prefers the booty shaker. I have tried it, but I'm not catching anything bigger than about 20. What is going on? Okay, let's press circle. I have no idea what happened there. That was very strange. I don't know if a fish took it or... Or what? Yeah, I don't know what happened there. That's a little bit close to the side. Let me reset that. There we go. That should be a bit better. Hopefully. So normally when I do make videos, I do normally make them for around about the eight to ten minute mark. But for bass master fishing, I've been making them. I've been making them a little bit longer, just so that way I can try and fit as much info into one video rather than doing loads of different thing, different videos and explaining it in different videos. Of course, I've caught quite a few bass, striped bass and stuff. But look at all of these catfish here. They are. They are extremely big, and there's quite a few of them around here, so there might be a chance I could even get a bigger fish than what I've just shown you guys just there. So, if I pull out the the map, we're in Sabine River. So, this is where I am right now. So, I want to set a uh, Northern Pike, it's Catfish, Blue Catfish, Channel Catfish. Where does it say flathead catfish? There you go, flathead catfish. So I'm going to set a marker there. So that's where it is. So if I press circle now, it's highlighted. So is what I'm going to do, I'm going to spawn back to the beginning. And I'm going to drive to that location. Just to show you exactly whereabouts it was. So Follow the path. Go straight forward. See, you'll see this little part here. So, obviously, when you're catching fish, you can catch them in all different places. But I've shown this one before. Uh, I've shown this location before in a hot spot, and it does work extremely well. Look, there's just fish all over the fish finder right now. There it is, just constant. So what I do is I park up about here 
and then I press square and then I start my fishing so let me show you my rod setup what I'm using so I'm using the Dinga June bug that's what I'm using which is a soft plastic creature and then I'm using a Ned rig 1.8 ounce 3.5 grams 5 hot hook 50 pound line you don't have to use the same line as me or the same reel or the same rod but um, obviously yeah make sure you use the Ned rig and the June bug so that's my rod set up. Let's have a few more casts here and see if we can try and get ourselves a bigger fish. This is probably the first time I've actually set a marker. <laughs> I'd probably... Oh, wow, that was a shame. Thought he was going to go for that or she was going to go for that. Yeah, normally I don't bother to set markers because I remember where the hot spot is because of how good that spot is. But I wanted to... Um, I wanted to set it just, just so that way you guys can obviously see exactly where it is. Now there is different motions that you can do. You can obviously do um, stop and go. And obviously you can have it at different reel speeds. Me, myself, I always leave it on reel speed 1. Nobody saw that. That was overpowered. Yeah, I always leave mine on reel speed 1. And as well as reel speed 1, I also... Um, I just keep it on constant. I just keep it on constant reel. That looked like a gar. Fish lost. It was a gar. That's a shame. It does that sometimes as well. When you go to strike, even though you're striking and you're reeling at the same time, it just. Yeah, I can't explain it. I don't know why it does it, but sometimes it just comes up saying fish lost. Just like how we saw there. But around here as well, you'll see some catfish floating around here sometimes. They do they do come to the top surface, so you probably could fish with stuff on top surface. As I said, the the um, booty shaker was um, a thing that it recommended me to use, but yeah, just not catching them big ones. So I thought I'd go over to a worm. I've also had some good sized fresh drum here. I've had some fresh drum around 30, between 30 to 40 ish pounds and there is quite a lot of gar around here but the main thing that I want is that catfish there is also bass as well look at all of, look at all of them well wow, there's a lot when I get it in close I always just press circle just because when you get it into around about 7 foot Sometimes you can still hook stuff up like that, but it doesn't happen often, so I just hit circles so that way it gets the cast out real quick. So if you look there on the top left, the top left is the fish finder, and the fish finder is showing up a serious amount of fish around here. I don't see as many catfish as we did a minute ago. Now, of course you can cast that way but let me take the let me take it forward just a little bit look at them gar you can see them so now I'm kind of level with that let's have another cast there's so much fish showing up there so normally I wait for it to sink completely there's another cat there I wait for it to sink completely before I start reeling. As I said, you can reel it on top of the surface, but I just think it worked better by letting it sink. Let's see if I can try and do stop and go. Stop and go, I've done it before, but it's not it's not as easy as it looks. Compared to other fishing games, normally I can I can normally do stop and go, but Oh my gosh, that was trying to take it. Oh my gosh, it did. That one looked big. That one looked very big. Let's see if I can get bigger than 50 pound. It looks really good like that. So even though I was doing stop and go, it didn't come up saying I was doing stop and go. But it clearly worked though. So, yeah, there is that. <laughs> Oh well, this one, I don't know, it doesn't look very big. 
It looks massive under the water, but seeing it on top of the water, it looks quite small. Let's see. No, it's not, it's not as big. Definitely not. 14 pound, 14 ounces. It's not bad though, we still, at least we still, that's going to be, I need to turn a little bit, there we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> I'm very, very sure that um, the setup, oh my gosh, that was close. The setup that I've got right now, I'm very sure eventually that is going to get me close to that hundred pound mark fish so um if i ever do get a big fish on i am just gonna randomly hit record oh there you go come up saying stuff and go i am gonna randomly hit record just in case i ever do get that big that big monster monster fish hopefully i can get it at some point oh look at that catfish in the background over there that one was quite a big fish uh, so yeah, I'll get to like seven foot, and I'll hit circle. Of course, as I said, you can still catch like that, but it's quicker to do it this way. Let me know as well if you've ever fished in this spot. I'm interested to know. As I said, I did show it once before as a hot spot. Oh, he's coming for it. There we go. That looked like a good size. But as I said, under the water, they always look a lot bigger. Now it looks a little bit bigger in the water than the last one, possibly. The main thing is, whenever you get a fish on, I've, I've said it every time and I will keep saying it just in case other people haven't seen the other videos always keep an eye on the bottom left there so your hook don't ever snap uh, I don't think it is as big 14 pound 14 ounces still the same now let's see if we can try and get one more but if not at least now you guys know how to catch catfish as I said I did I did say uh, a little while back now probably well I say a little while back about a week ago I did say that I'm gonna make a video of showing you guys how to catch these catfish and yeah here it is it's a little bit it's a week late but then as I said I've been showing other hot spots in other lakes and oh wow look at all them guard there yeah I've been showing other hot spots in other lakes and stuff so oh I thought he's gonna go for that then Oh, I thought he was going to... God, there are so many catfish around. Right, we're going to have another cast. I'm going to keep on fishing until we just get just one more just to finish it off. Because that last one could be the, the next biggest fish. We'll see. Sinking slowly. I don't know if it's better just to keep my finger on reeling. Or whether to keep on trying to do that stop and go. I don't know. As I said, it all works. If I constantly reel while I've caught fish. If I reel and then stop for a little bit. I've caught fish. So, Which one is the best out of the two? I have no idea. Because they both work. Now, of course, you can't catch fish every single cast, so don't ex don't expect to catch fish every single cast. Sometimes you can get lucky, and you can sometimes you can catch ten in ten casts. You can catch ten fish, but it doesn't always work that way. What is that there? It looks a bit like a bass. Yeah, that's a bass. I haven't really had any bass 
hit this to be honest. So I don't really think um, bass are that interested. In Is that going to go for it there? So I'll show you what happens if you don't press circle. See, it's not, it doesn't take that long, but it's definitely quicker just to hit circle. Is it coming? Is it going to get it? Is it? No. I think it was going to, though. It looked like it was a bit interested, so let's just try and do, just reel in. Oh wow, there's a lot there. There was a lot of fish there. Uh, I think this is another catfish, yep. Yeah. So at first, when I first started playing the game, I'm going to be honest, it, I, I've said it in a few videos, I wasn't, yeah, I, I, I told myself after about 40-ish minutes of playing, no, nah, this game is not for me, I don't like it. I do love fishing games, but this one is just um, not for me. But after playing it, ten pound six ounces. But after this, have another cast. Why not? After playing it for now, just over a week. Before, I wouldn't have recommended this game because I didn't give it a chance, and that's why I decided to carry on making videos on it because you guys wanted to see more of it, and I didn't want to just um, just do that one video and then just think, you know, I didn't like this game. So I carried on making videos for you guys, and I'm glad that I did because. Now, I've found some really good hot spots. I catch fish at a really fast pace in every lake that I've been in. It's taken me a short minute sometimes to find that hot spot. I'm not going to lie. It's, um, yeah, sometimes I can find a hot spot really fast. And then other times it can take an hour plus. <laughs> and when I say an hour plus, it really, yeah, sometimes it really can take a long time. Sometimes it can take two, three hours to try and find a hot spot. Or sometimes you can just try and search for the whole day. And, yeah, still can't find that hot spot. So, yeah, it, it's it's trying to use your knowledge to think of, to, you've got to try and think like a fish. And, of course, um, if you don't really know much about fishing, then that can be kind of hard to... Yeah, that can be kind of hard to do that. But for me myself, obviously, because I know about fishing, it does help. It definitely does help. But that's exactly why I make these videos, because if you guys don't really know, and I do, it's nice to share knowledge. We haven't got much interest there. Alright, so... I'm going to just really quickly, um, because we have caught a good sized catfish now, and that's basically what this video was for, well, that's what it was for. I'm going to quickly change over, um, have a cast with that. Now, I don't think with this one, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to catch any catfish. Um, yeah, I'm about 80% sure I wouldn't. I might get lucky, but I very much doubt. I would catch catfish with this lure, but I would definitely catch myself some bass. There we go. So of course different lures catch different fish. But um, that was pretty good though. Nearly 51 pound catfish, my new biggest fish. You're gonna I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Don't forget though. to hit that subscribe button. If you are new around here, and as I said, if you want to become a member and support the channel a little bit more, the link for that will be in the description below. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button and leave in comments below. As I said, let me know um, if you've ever fished this spot, and of course, let me know what your new biggest fish is yourself, and let me know what type of fish it is, because um, I'm always interested to know. Oh my gosh, there's so many catfish there. I think I'm going to have to go back to it. Yeah, of course, if I do catch a bigger catfish, which I'm pretty sure I will at some point, there will be another video on a bigger catfish in the future. So make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss out. That's going to be pretty much it for this one. We catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I'm out.